Good morning, guys. I just woke up. I'm getting myself fixed because I'm not feeling well. As you can see, I'm wearing sunnies because the thing is, my eyes is irritated and I need to go to the doctor. So it's around uh, 7 a.m. today, and uh, yeah, I need to go to the doctor. I think there's a medical center open there at 8 o'clock, and there's another one there at around 9 o'clock. I'll see if I can get an appointment. I'm gonna have my eyes checked. And I'm gonna miss work today, so yeah. Um, my eye keeps on dripping. I can't even see clearly the camera now. But anyway, good morning, guys, and hope you have a good day. I'm not gonna have a good day. <laughs> Ciao. Uh, I don't think I'll be vlogging today, so I'll just leave it here. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. I'm getting ready for work. I'm so tired. Yeah, getting ready for work. Uh, I hope I don't come in late because I'm really, really tired. My eyes are like shit. Good morning, people. Early this morning, it was around uh, 42 degrees. It was scorching hot. And now, after a few hours, it's around 22 degrees, and yeah, yeah, you can see it's raining. It just slowed down because it took me a while to vlog. Melbourne, you're awesome. Okay, I'm home now with a lot of things to do. I have a lot of things on my plate, and uh, yeah, I'm a bit tired. I just want to get take a nap now, but uh, one of the things that want to make me move now is that one of my heroes in YouTube, which is Levi Allen, the, the left coast, I love his videos. He commented on my on my post on my video, so like that's really good. It lifts me up, wants me to do more good videos. So let's see, 2019, let's do it. Okay, let's go back to the main topic. Here it is. Hey guys, I have extra time in my hand, so I'm just filming some videos up here of what I've discovered and what I've found out about techie stuff and everything and also what I have put in in my uh, workflow or anything uh, so I just put out updates of anything that I find out and I'm gonna share it to you that way uh, all of us would know and it's a good thing yeah helping each other that's it so yeah I have this Mavic Air Here it is. and the problem with this Mavic Air is that I got this from somebody second used that's it and the thing is, uh, it was still sealed. It was brand new. But the thing is, since I've got this from somebody, I uh, could not get warranty for this. I can't have it checked with DJI directly because, uh, I don't know, that guy's a bit dodgy, I think. But anyway, I got this one and it's working fine till whenever I turn it on, uh, it, it does ask me to calibrate the gimbal. And I know from the old DJI drones, I used to have the uh, Phantom 3 it asks me to calibrate the drone every time I turn it on. So yeah, it was normal to me. Then when I have the Phantom 4, it seldom asks me to calibrate the gimbal. So like, oh, this is cool because every time I'm going to be shooting, I don't have to worry about turning on uh, the drone, doing that round gimbal calibration thing. So yeah, that was good. And when I got this, there are times when I get uh, gimbal calibration error like i need to calibrate the gimbal every time i fly every time i try to fly this i'm in a hurry like when i'm traveling i need to like set up let it fly let it go and let bring it down so when i'm shooting weddings i try to make it as quick as possible as swift and quick and swift as possible that way i won't be creating a scene while i'm trying to fly this drone so one of the problems i've been uh encountering is that every time i turn it on it's asking me to calibrate the gimbal so i need to like do this thing again and turn it around and turn it around and i hate calibrating the gimbal especially when you're trying to fly uh it's gonna catch a lot of attention and people are gonna look at me and like what the heck is he doing so i tried to look around look in the internet what's wrong with the drone if i need to get it uh fixed if i need to like get a new drone or something but yeah i found out that one of the things uh, that's causing that is that your drone is magnetized. So the drone has been to a magnetic field and some say are saying that the drone might have gone through airport x-rays and I don't know, big magnetic stuffs, 
one of the things uh, with, with regards to getting magnetized is that the compass get, goes crazy because the thing is, yeah, compass are uh, magnetic pointers and if uh, the back part or any part of your drone is magnetized, the compass is gonna point there. So it's gonna give you that compass error. So that's what I found out. I found a tool online which is around 100 or more, more dollars. It's like a cool gadget where you place it near the drone and then you can use the drone batteries or the charger for the Phantom to power it and it can de demagnetize the drone. So I was this close to getting it but the thing is the price is 100 and it's a lot. That's a lot for small stuff. I tried to search online and I found this. Yeah, it's a weird case. Actually, it looks like this. So uh, this is a demagnetizer, and what it does is that uh, it takes out the mag magnetism out of a stuff that you're trying to like uh, use. Like if you have a magnetized screwdriver, it can just plug this into the, the outlet. Press this. This is the LED that's going to turn uh, red or turn on, of course. And then you're going to put something. You're going to put the screwdriver here, and it's going to demagnetize it. So I checked online, and uh, they're around ten dollars. That's Australian dollars, of course. Ten dollars, nine dollars of this online. So I tried it. Bought one. The switch is like kind of flimsy, and I turned it on. And then uh, I tried to put it near this part of the drone because uh, this part of the drone is where the magnet is. I mean, the compass is, not the magnet, of course. So this, the back part of the drone is where the compass is. So I tried to put it near there and I tried to, yeah, press this button and wish that it's gonna be fine. So initial uh, testing is that every time I turn on the drone, it's not asking me for, it's not asking me to calibrate it. So it's a good thing. In the next few days, I'll be trying to look into it. I'll be trying to see if the drone's gonna do that. But uh, I doubt, like, i am turning it on this morning and it's not asking for that. Usually it does. I was thinking that it's my GPS watch that's uh, doing some crazy stuff to my drone. But uh, yeah, it's true. Like, if your drone is magnetized, the, uh, the compass is gonna go crazy. It's gonna ask you to calibrate it. Once you calibrate it, you fix it uh, Temporarily, when you turn it on again, the compass is gonna look for the the mag magnetized part, and it's gonna create an error again. So yeah, so yeah, guys, that's that's one thing you need to know. If you're flying drones, if you're a fanatic with drones, you don't want your drone to go crazy. Of course, you need to have the the compass and uh, calibrated, and it not have problems. That way, it's gonna stay stable, and it's gonna point in the right direction. So yeah, if you have a drone out there and it's going crazy, you can just get a demagnetizer, any demagnetizer in your place. Any, you can go to Bunnings or you can get to, go to any hardware uh, stores and just look for anything that demagnetizes a screwdriver. It's gonna work. Let's try it out. Well, yeah, didn't have problems with me. But yeah, I'm still gonna look into it. If I have problems, I'm gonna post it in a vlog. But for now, that's it. Demagnetizer works. It's made in you know where. <laughs>